Keith Springer is the president of Springer Financial, author of Facing Goliath. Keith Springer of Springer Financial. So I've got to go back to you, Keith. What do you think right now? I think the market's over a period of time are going to like this. I wouldn't be surprised realize if we that the economy has changed oh, so 92 long. million people are in massive savings mode. They don't have the money to push the economy forward. I started back when Ronald Reagan was president, a long, long time ago. And I'm pleased and very lucky to be able to do something that I've always wanted to do. To be a financial advisor is no better thrill than helping people. I get no better feeling than when a client I've been working with for 10, 15, 20, 25, even 30 years. I've been doing this for 32 years and someone comes up and gives me a hug and says, hey, thank you, because of you I can retire. And uh, there's really no better, no better feeling than the hug or the nod. The, the most critical point in anybody's life financially is when you're about to retire. Really, five years from retirement and in retirement and through retirement. And those are your transition periods. That's the time that everything changes. You've worked for years, and it's what you call your accumulation years. That's when you're just building up your money and you're not paying much attention because retirement seems far off. You think you'll never get there. You're in your 20s or 30s, and you're okay with the market riding it up and down. But once you hit your late 40s and typically 50, uh, and certainly by 55, it's no longer how much can I make, but how much can I lose, or how much can I afford to lose, or how much do I want to lose? And you've got to really start paying more attention because you can't afford the big drops. There were so many people before the 2008 crash that were close to retirement or almost retired that couldn't retire, that will now have to work many more years or never retire because they lost half or a third or a quarter of their money. So it's important to work with somebody who understands the needs and the goals of people who are retired. The important thing is to make sure you're getting the best return based on what you need but with the least risk possible. Something I like to say on my radio show, invest for need, not for greed.